did this video opening like the one in James Bond. Very cool. Well, in today's video, we will show you how to quickly create such an effect so that you can easily apply it in your own videos. And if you're interested in this one, keep watching. To make this effect, we need to prepare a black picture, a white round picture, and a video of a person, and a kid image, and a silhouette of the person in a video. Yet, you only need to prepare the video since you can get the other materials quickly using Video Pro Vlogger along your editing. Here, I'll show you how. First, we need to use a screenshot function in Video Pro Vlogger to get a black and white background image. Click here to create a new text clip. Then, we delete all the text to make it blank. Click on a snapshot here to get a black image. Next, we click here. And in the bottom left corner, find background. Find white in the drop down menu and click on it. Then click on done. Same as before, click on snapshot to get a white image. Next, we change the background back to black. Now let's start making the white round image. Import a white image and put it on the main track. Then find circular mask in effects. Put it on the effect track. Now we can notice the edges of the circle on the screen are slightly feathered. Thus, we find a gradient in inspector and put it down to a very low value. But don't move it to zero, otherwise the image will get too sharp and the result will turn out pretty bad. Then adjust the radius a little. Something like this will do. Then click Slapshot to get a white circular picture. Next, let's go ahead and do the silhouette part. Find a proper action shot in the video and try to use the one with cool or exaggerated movements. Here you can press N on the keyboard to make a mark for easier alignment later. Then click on Snapshot. We import a screenshot into this free King website, which will automatically generate a kid image. Next, import the image back to VidiPro Vlogger. Place the image on the overlay track with the white as a background. Adjust the size and the position. Now the silhouette is not dark enough, but that's fine. We click here and open the color editor. Adjust the exposure. Saturation. Highlights and other parameters to minimal. Then put the contrast to the highest level. Then here we have the silhouette effect. Click on Slapshot to save the image. So far, we have all the materials we need. And now, let's start creating the spotlight effect. Place the black image on the main track. And keep it for about 10 to 15 frames. Next, put a silhouette and a white circle image. Find a position that you take the screenshot in the video. Click on Split and delete the first half of the video. Then, put a white circle image on the overlay track. 
and aligned it with the silhouette, and kept it for about 135 frames. Now you can only see the white circle image on the screen. We select it and find blend mode in Inspector. Select Darken. Now you can see the silhouette behind it. Now let's get it moving. We click here to open the motion editor. I want it to move from the top to bottom left and then to the bottom right and at the last zoom in to show the whole silhouette. Thus, we need to add the first keyframe at the top. And then the second keyframe on the bottom left. Then we add another keyframe to give it a short pause. Then move to the bottom right corner and add the fourth keyframe. Again, use another keyframe to give it another pause. Finally, move to the middle and zoom in. much like this. We are now bad. That's all for today's video. And you can also add some music and sound effects to make the video look more rhythmic. And if you want to know more about other Adam tips, what has been going on with the video pop vlogger be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet and we'll see you soon in our next video hope you enjoy bye bye